Welcome to the semi-final of the World 8-Ball Championships and we will have two of the best players in the world right now, right here. We have Francisco Sanchez Ruiz from Spain, world number one against Mario He from Austria. In the commentary booth for this match will be Marcus Schamat and myself, Tim de Ruiter. What do you think about this matchup here, Marcus? Yeah, it's not an unexpected uh, semi-final, two of the big uh, players in the world at the moment, so uh, looking forward to this team. This is really world-class uh, quality of a semi-final and I'm expecting uh, nothing less than a, a great match here. Yeah, made oh. Two balls in the media. Eight. I think he made three balls. Super so break here. So what the thing is here, I don't know if the audience knows, is if you make the 8th ball on the break, you have the options to either re-rack or continue playing. So you don't win the game. You know. The official WPA rules. Obviously if you make a ball, I think 99% of the time you continue shooting. <laughs> well, and also in this case he made two more balls in the 8th. Of yeah. course the 8th comes back up, but the more balls you make, the more room you have. So I don't really see him turning this down. Mm. But, like you can see on the left side, that cluster does not really make it a lot better. So the, pa the panda, famous panda from Austria. Yeah. One of the <laughs> nicest guys on tour. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, always very relaxed and cool to hang out with mm, as well, spend some yeah. time. and Great player, has a great break in every game. Mm. Not just 8-ball, just 9-ball, 10-ball. Plays good straight pull, so... All around good player, great player. Yeah, Hit that in the middle of the pocket. Good opening shot. Wonder if he landed nicely on this. I think he's trying to get on the one, I think. Is he? Yeah, if he is he able to kiss the eleven ball into the fourteen three maybe and then get the three out a little bit? Or is he going to play perfect position on the three ball later? Let's see when shooting the one at least. Let's see where he's gonna try to place the cube. Nicely done. Yeah, so one of the three goes. Yeah, must be and oh. then if he can follow for the four on the side and then from the five ball go for the eight mm. in the side probably. You're right Tim. It's he runs out he runs out there is a really good confident booster for him to draw first blood in this all important semi final. So he's got to learn, he's got to land good on this five. Because there's uh, three stripes 11, 10, and 14 laying there that can, that can disturb his path down for the eight. Mm. Yeah, he's good. Perfect. He can follow down. Cheat the pocket just a tad. Well controlled rack so far. Yeah, both players won their quarterfinal match pretty convincingly. Sanchez Ruiz beat Conrad Justicin 10 5. And Mario He beat Daniel Marshall 10 2. Mm -hmm. Disturbing an old Polish semi final, huh? Yeah. And three, it's three Polish players in the semi final. That would be something. Down goes the eight, and first game goes to Panda from Austria. Mario Hay. Yeah, big break and run. Mm -hmm. Referee John Lehman racking the balls from Mario He. And playing a race to 10. WPA rules, and they also play with a 30 second shot clock. 60 seconds after the break, and one extension each per rack. This is Sanders Ruiz, the world number one at the moment. Probably the hardest mm. player in the world. Tim, what do you think? Yeah, the in, the in tournament play, you got to favor him at this moment. He's just, he really has his mindset right. And he does all the right things right now to get the best result. 
I think he's really improved. Uh, you know, the, the game has always been there for him, but I mean, mentally he got over that that hill. Just one one big tournament or two, and just everything's been coming together for him. Obviously, winning that U.S. Open was huge. Now made a Mo Moscone Cup team on top of it. Yeah, his first breakthrough was when he won the World Cup of Pool together with David Arcady. Yeah. His good good friend, good amigo. So Mario he breaking from the side rail. Also a World Cup of Pool winner together with Albin. Ooh, oh. lost the cue ball and the wreck wasn't too good. Well he Almost had the cue ball fly <laughs> off the table, and there was also a lot of top spin on there. Uh, that rack from wasn't too tight. It looked like well, that that's what can happen with the regular racking balls. Sometimes they spread nicely, and sometimes. Well, it was a complete miss hit, too. Oh, so yeah. it doesn't really it was help. It, 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 it was a mi mix of both, I guess. Yeah. So has the option. Solid to stripes. So far, I think pretty equal. Mm, yeah, maybe he's gonna play the combo 15 into the 11. Is there a ball you think is difficult to get on if he goes for stripes? Uh, 12 ball, mel maybe. In the middle. Side pocket there. Yeah, needs to make sure he takes this 10 ball out now to make sure the 14 does go in the bottom left to have his options a little bit more mm -hmm. open. Yeah, the thing is you're playing with a shot clock, you got to think quickly and sometimes it helps you also, I think, playing 8 ball because sometimes you overthink it, you know. I, at least I feel when I play 8 ball, sometimes it's you just don't see the patterns and then you're just trying to overthink, so to say. Well, there is always many roads to run the table and... Too many. So <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes <laughs> you might be better off playing a little faster and choosing your number three option run mm. out. Yeah. Then taking a lot more time and have no rhythm, but choosing the best option and then you miss a shot, maybe. Mm. Let's see what he's going to try to do here. Gonna make the 10 and go two rails in between the 14, one. To have either the 12 in the top left corner, the 13 or the 14 in either one of the two bottom corners. I don't know if I li like this option here. It's gonna draw it past the five. Or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, he was gonna bump it. Yeah, but he does have the 12 and it was exactly one of the balls that Mm, that could have gone. It's going to be tough. That could have gone wrong, big time. He did push that five ball in a tough position for Mario. A little bit tougher. If, if Mario gets back to the table, of course. Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Even though it's laying tough, these players figure out ways. It's always ways, as long as you have an open shot. Oh, did go a little bit too far on that. And he knew the moment he struck that ball, he went. Mm, yeah. Like he wanted to stop. <laughs> Let's see if he can. You know, he's, he needs to travel down for the nine as well. He's not only the 13 he needs to get on. He's kind of in not the, the best position. Let me see. It's kind of hard to see here exactly what kind of angle he's. What if he can come in between the seven and the two? The eight, oh, he yeah. missed the ball. Yeah, they get on the nine ball, and I think dropping down from the nine to the 13 was not going to be too tough. Mm. But it's missed the 14, and Mario he with a table to take an early two game lead. Mm -hmm. Needs to figure it out though. Not the easiest opening shot for Mario. Or if he's gonna play the one, or cut the two in the side maybe. Depends on. Yeah, it's a tough opening shot, and if he makes the one, he might run into the 14-8, might cluster up stuff. That's pretty safe. Yeah. Hmm? Had to make sure. Or the 13 doesn't pass in the corner? 
No, I don't think so. Well, that's the first thing he looked at. He ran <laughs> to the table, Ferrari. Well, if I tell you what, if the 13 pass in the corner, that's not the greatest shot from Mario. No, the only good thing is is that he's cornering in the side. The three ball does get blocked by the 14. So even if he makes this, it's still tough to solve that and get on the nine. Oh, almost it. made it and yeah. Now oh. le now left it for for Mario here. Damn, it was close. Yeah, also played the bump on the 14. Yeah. Mario kind of uh, he would have been sick if 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 Ruiz would have run out from there. And kind of a loose Ooh, safety. A little far. Yeah, he's fun. I think he played a three ball here. I think it goes. Yeah. So make this. Get on the seven. Watch out. Yeah, not happy and uh, kind of put his hand up like it bounced, but I think it's early nerves kind of. And once you have a little tighter back arm it's like the cube doesn't stop where you really want it to be stopped. Nicely done. He, he needs to travel down for the four. That's what he's looking at. Needs an angle. And if he travels down nicely, I think this, this second rack is going to go in the favor of the Austrian maestro. Yeah, I do like to shoot the seven now and just draw maybe one ball back leaving yourself the angle on the six to go up for the four and then leave the two to get easy on the eight. Mm. We'll need to leave himself a little lower on the four ball though. If he leaves himself in the center of the table, he has an angle to go maybe into the nine and you don't want that. So let's go over a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's okay, he can, he can go forward two rails and miss the nine. Yeah, as any kind of angle, he will be fine. He can go forward, he can draw it. This way he can follow it. Nicely done. Beautiful stroke. Yeah, I'm, I've always been uh, impressed by Mario's game since I started seeing him in the a few years ago, playing in Europe. Such a <coughs> natural ability ability in his game, I feel like. And goes the eight. Second game in favor of Mario here. And we'll go for a short, short little break. We'll be right back. Mm. Two nothing in this semi-final of the eight Predator World Eight Ball Championships here in San Juan, uh, Puerto Rico, alongside Tim Reuter. We're trying to bring you the the right amount of information so you can improve your eight ball game to watch these two champions play correct patterns. Here's a look at the nice rack by referee John Lehman from USA and New York. Breaking off in third. Rack. Mario here. Let's sit and have a look at this break then, Tim. Yeah, we'll need a more square hit on the one ball this time. 
like this, but the cue ball. Mm, well, the cue ball did help the seven ball in, and oh, he's got plenty of options here. here we go more square hit, but that cue ball was close, and then it helped the seven ball in. Mm. So my first impression, I do like the stripes a little bit more, just because of the 15 that does go and the five ball does not go. The only thing with the stripes is the 14 could be a little tough. So I might be able to make the 12 and bump the 14 open right now. Yeah, Mario is weighing his options. The 9 and 12, I guess it's like you said, the 14, but it goes in the corner if he makes it 12 from now. Called this extension after the break, so it has 90 seconds now, but won't be able to have more time later. Yeah, the, the solids goes. The, the solids are you are good as well. I guess it's optional. So more you selecting the, the stripes. Yeah, 11. Yeah, I think he was trying to get a little bit more straight on the 11 to float down for the 15. She so stunned the cue ball off the rail. Didn't really go much forward. Uh -oh. I think it's... Wow. It's good. The other thing, the my, ball, the, my thing is the cue ball might be just a little bit too fast. Traveling around the table, coming for the 14. Yeah, he chose to go to the 15 later, that's okay. Probably played a bump on the 2. You don't like it? No, I think he was trying to get the other angle, going to the long rail, and then leave himself that angle on the 13 to naturally float to the right side. So he might go one rail and come back where the cue ball is right now, around that spot. Nicely done. So he's trying to place position now, a nice angle on the temple. Or come down for a 15 now. I doubt it though. Yeah, you don't want to go back and forth all the time. Needs an angle on this. I think it's okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, the only thing though, going from the 15 to the 8 could be a little challenge. Just because, oh no, the 8 does go in the left corner pocket, so. Just this. Possible two rails, or one rail, what he likes. Okay, one rail. He wants it to stop. A little far, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's got a little straight. You can draw it back, play it in the same corner as he's shooting the 15. <coughs> Nicely done. Yeah, Mario, when he's on fire, he's just, you gotta really beat him. He's such a complete player and the thing is, he can travel with that, with that cue ball anywhere on the table as well. He's got a huge stroke if he needs to. Oh, no. Oh, spoke too soon. Wow. Did mm. he put a trace of inside on that while he cued it? Or was it just the time pressure, maybe? I think he took it for granted. That's not what he want to do in the semifinal of the World Championships. I think. I mean, it look, it looked weird. Out of nowhere. Yeah, I do like to go to the two ball straight away. Yeah, nice little angle on the two. Sanchez Ruiz with a nice opportunity here. Unexpected probably from his side. I didn't think Mario should miss that eight ball.
Tea shot this wreck. Nicely done. Yeah, it could be a big momentum turnaround here. If he runs this out and a good break after, he might get something going. Corner pocket for a 2 1 score in favor of Mario Hay. So let's see how he's going to break. Ruiz, obviously, he's been breaking good being this far in this tournament and playing good, obviously. You need both those tools. Without a break in this tournament, he probably ain't going nowhere. Yeah, just look at the arena, looking beautiful. We have a nice, nice crowd, even though it's just a regular Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It's only 1:25 p.m. ish. We still have people watching, that's just great. Nice crowd and this week has been really good. Oh yeah, what a nice event this has been. In, in the convention center here in San Juan, surely it's gonna be, uh, the thing is gonna be even better next year. I mean, if it wasn't good this year, next year it's gonna be even more teams in the amateur and probably even more stacked field uh, that has already been so looking forward to next year again yeah might be even more spectators too when they get to know that this event is going to be here maybe every year then mm -hmm. or they're gonna have a event here every year then so let's see it's breaking from that same side rail but on the other side. Mm -hmm. So there's some big team matches there going back in the back, the amateur event. Oh, straight oh. in the face and, oh, the cue ball was mainly blocking all the balls that were going towards the hole. Dry break. And Mario back with opportunity. Good spread on the balls, but nothing. Well, I do think he has left a pretty tough opener. If that tw if that 12 ball doesn't go, though, if that 12 ball does go, then I really like the stripes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks like the 12 doesn't go. Maybe he can. The nine doesn't go in the corner, I think. The four goes in, I think the, f I wonder if the four goes in the side pocket though. I think in the side and the corner, yeah. And that might be his only oh, shot. He wants to take solid, uh, uh, he wants to take Sa stripes. So that's why he plays safe here. Safety shot. Not sure if it's okay enough though. Would have liked to really stick the cue ball to the six and there's still a gap. So did he leave maybe the nine of the two? <laughs> oh, he can shoot the nine of the two and have all the stripes in the open yeah the thing is he wanted to kind of hook him behind the six as, six as well freeze him there yeah here's the gap then the Ruiz would have been in all sorts of trouble Attention, please. I think uh, Ruiz needs to go, be, go aggressive here because there's no real safety he needs to come with a really good shot D do you like the nine of the two I think that's all he's got well, what if there's something else? Or a real first on the 12. I think it's tough. The 12 is quite a bit off the rail. Let me see what he's I don't think he's even looking at that nine. Sure. What did he do? Called it in the corner. Real first. 
A lot of left spin to make the cut go. Well, wow, it's a beautiful shot, mm. though. How about that shot? Rail first. Yeah, so we'll have to go around the six ball here. Might be able to leave him the cut on the ten. Just the cue ball next to the nine. No, he played for the other side. He's gonna clear up the other side first, and then have the nine and the ten to go to the eight. Eleven. Let me see if he's straight. Kind of mm. Still work to do. It's not the easiest of out. No, that fifteen is tough to get on. I'm not sure if it goes to the bottom right corner. No. So he was trying to stun over and. It's not really where he wanted to be. Surely he's gonna play nine here, then maybe back for the 15. Say the 14 for last. I would think. This would be a big out, playing rec rail first in that 12. Yeah. Looking at the angle on 15. Still got time though, he was running. He's making sure this is big here, he don't want to fall on the wrong angle. Nice. Nicely done. He's yeah, he had to change the plan a little bit, but this way he's still okay. He can choose to go just a little bit past the three, go a little bit forward, or to draw in between the three and the two. Mm. I do like that little bit forward though. It will give you automatic angle if you make the 14. Just gotta be careful not to run too far. You don't wanna this be straight in. Yeah, that's the thing. That was the problem with this shot, is the chance to get straight in is pretty high. Mm. Pretty high percentage to get straight and tough to get on that eight ball now. You can play super draw and go all the way back to the short rail and play the short side of the eight. Can he still spin over? Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Powerful beautiful shot there. Mm. Nicely done. Eight pull in the corner pocket. Nice, and goes down. Well played by Ruiz. Of course, the second game for himself. Tied at two all in yeah. his semi final of the World Championships. What could have been 3 0 for Mario He turned completely in a two each. And you have to be, you have to agree that the momentum is with Sanchez at this moment. Mm -hmm still early in this match I mean yeah. one mistake from Mario there that where where he missed that eight ball obviously and then I don't think he selected the wrong uh, safety shot you know no in this rack it was but he wanted to glue it like really yeah, if he stuck it, it to the six then oh yeah a lot stronger but it was a good uh, rail first by Ruiz there to win that so open the rack John Lehman racking the balls with the predator error rack for Sanchez Ruiz to break him in wreck number five. Change to the other side. The one straight in. <coughs> oh, <laughs> well, and last moment that seven and the 14 tied up together. The older power to put it in. They're not holding back on the break, that's for sure. Yeah, you could definitely see 
he also landed on that same one foot <laughs> yeah. against the table, so he was giving everything he had. Yeah, tough. Yeah, he needs to find a way to break, either play the 14-7 the combination now, or break it up some kind of way. Well, the thing is, if he goes for the stripes, let's say he makes a 12 and runs into the 14, now there's no real backup shot. So if he runs it into yeah. those two balls, he really needs to get on either mm -hmm. one of them. It's quite the risk. Of course, he will have the 15, but it's a long, tough shot. I think he really has to shoot it first shot. Mm -hmm. It's nothing else. And the clock is ticking. Or play the, the or play the two ball. He called the seven ball. He's playing the combo from here. Yeah, that's the shot I said he needs. He could play. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit more angle on this. So, yeah, if he can make the seven ball, that would be great. Good shot. shot again coming for the four here in the corner not the side of the table two and then the five we save the six for last and he's gonna take the lead I think in this match beautiful You can tell Ruiz has got that confidence coming with two really good opening shots in two racks back to back. Oh, he's also beaten Fedor Gorst in a huge battle. Mm -hmm. Which was somewhat a pretty tense battle. Making sure he lands in correct angle he wants. Yeah, even if he gets straight on the six, it's not really that tough. Perfect, come for the eight inside. So, aren't these guys uh, about your age, uh, Tim? <laughs> well, huh? <laughs> they are a little bit older. A little bit older than you. A little bit <laughs> older, but... Um, not by much, right? Not much, not no. I think Francisco is 28, 29. Yeah. Mario yeah. is 30, mm -hmm. something. So it's not... Wha too what, are you, what are you? 26. What? Okay. <laughs> Did you play any juniors with events with against them or...? No. No, I also, when I was... I only played two years of European Championship. We'll youth. go for a quick break and then we'll ask uh, Tim about the juniors, okay? Yeah, so we're back here, and uh, yeah, we asked Tim just before the break if he's about the same age, and he's a couple years younger, so he hasn't played juniors with either Ruiz or Mario. So there's, yeah. but you played them in events, right? Did you yeah, did um, I, I, funny thing, long time ago when we had the Derna City Classic in the Netherlands, Sanchez, he was young in the 20s like I was 18 19 he was probably 22 23 and uh, David came up to me and asked me like hey you want to gamble just <laughs> cheap with a buddy of mine 
<laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'll play him instead of ten ball, like just cheap. He's like, yeah, yeah, sure. And this guy kept running out on me, <laughs> from everywhere, and I was like, who the hell is this guy? You know, <laughs> it was so. It, was, it actually is funny, and that's the only time I played uh, Francisco. Uh, but I have played Mario in, in quite a couple occasions. Mm. Yeah, and not easy layout here, or at least not. I mean, there's quite some traffic on the table on the left side, so mm. I'll have to play good cue ball control. And if he shoots the 14, he has to make sure he plays at the right speed that the one ball doesn't stay on the long rail and starts blocking the 10. Yeah, 14 is the shot, I think. There's stripes there, so he's going to have a shot in the side or a corner on. Yeah, I like this. Good speed and can he go 9, 10, 15, 13, 11, 12 and then go to the 8? I think that's what I would play. He's weighing his options there. What balls he wants to get rid of, what ball he wants to save for last before the 8. Just looking at the side pocket there. Probably playing the 15 next. Yeah, I was in the semi final of the World Championships in 8 ball 2008, uh, Tim, and I played Ralph in the semi final. And the scary thing about that, it was like a nightmare. The equipment totally changed in the semi-final. Like everything got wet, you know. It was so crowded and the air condition was blasting. So the table was, w there was um, there was no way to control the cue ball or place it where you wanted. You, it, when you made a draw shot, it followed because everything was sticky and... Uh, yeah. I never uh, experienced such a nightmarely match, <laughs> especially in that kind of big match. Before every before that uh, that semi final, the oh, you get yeah. a bad contact yeah, there. Yeah, I think so. I think he had a skid, and I mean it's not horrible. Yeah, it did That's slow the cue ball down, and I would ask a referee to clean the cue ball here because this cut on the 12 mm. could skid again. But he can run two rails into the five and hold the cue ball. Yeah, or kill it. You don't want to run into balls if you don't have to. But nicely done. Oh, he's still. He yeah. didn't even have to run into the five. Played it with inside spin. Yeah, playing. That's what I was gonna say. Playing eight ball without be able to control the cue ball it's like a nightmare <laughs> playing nine ball or ten ball or any other game it's it's quite easier i can tell you it's all about cue ball control and play the angles <laughs> down goes the eight and it's three games apiece in this all important semi-final of the world championships eight ball yeah. referee john layman Pretty high quality so far in this match. Oh, yeah. Only one mistake for Mario to go 3 0 up. You can tell they're in the zone, both players. It was only that mistake on the 8 from, from Mario that was. Obviously, he's not happy about that, but he has recovered nicely. Ruiz with a dry break. Not much you can do. You can do the best you can to make a ball and a break. If you don't, <laughs> you know the, the shot goes over to your opponent. It's getting kind of uh, busy here around this final table. People are gathering up, gathering to see the all 
all important semi final here in the Predator 8 Ball World Championships. Playing for 60,000 to the winner of dollars, 40,000 to the runner up. And these two guys are already guaranteed 20,000 US for being in the semi final. Big money on stage, not only th the money, the title of being a world champion. That's gonna always be with you the rest of your life. There's the break. Oh, and wow, he hit that really thin. It was actually not super close to hitting it square. Yeah, you don't want to fly at the table. Well, not the easiest of layouts, too. If you go for the stripes, you will have the 11-14 tough. If you go for the solids, it's a two ball. And for stripes, the 13 is tough, too, but he could play a combination here. Yeah, let's see what it's like to do. It's, it's not the easiest out by far. He needs to really figure this out, what he's going to do. Time is going down to the first minute. Now I used his extension. Good choice because he really needs to figure it out. If he shoots stripe, he stripes. He needs to solve the 14-11 ball. Solids. Ten seconds left. Ooh. Nicely done. Yeah, what does he have planned for that two ball? That's the big question. Also that six ball is not easy, so we'll have to draw back a little bit on this five. Get on the six. And I was just going to say, and trying to drop in between the one and the three. Does he have this the angle to run into the 13 two now? Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to do. Let's see. He already used his extension, so this is a tough, tough out for him. Not only with the layout, he doesn't have no time. To Extension left. Oh, nice. Oh, he played it off the 13 and. Hitting on a lucky though. Look at this. Didn't land on that. Yeah, could be in real trouble here. I don't even think he has the bank on the two. Oh, he does have a bank on the two, and that might be his only shot. Mm -hmm. Either the bank on the two or the three into the rail, and then the one. In the corner, yeah. which is Let's a very see. tough shot too. Or maybe he plays a nine in the side. I mean the two in the side of the nine. For safety. Well, he did know Mario still had to do something with the 11-14, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So yes. Big game here with some interesting choices of, of uh, play you know what they're gonna select kind of shot selection they're gonna do mm. Mario I wonder if he's gonna go aggressive or he's gonna play safety can he thin the 11 out a little bit and then leave the cue ball behind the 14 so he doesn't give away the 7 He's looking at it some kind of way. I mean, because he needs to do something with the 11-14 and gain a better position from here. I think he's going to leave some kind of 
opening. Was he banking the 11 to the pocket where the 2 is? Did he call that? Just in case? Oh. Yeah, I think he did. Wow. I didn't yeah. get a sh he didn't get a shot, though. Yeah, that bump on the 10 ball was quite unfortunate. He played it to where he figured it's going to hang in the pocket if he doesn't make it. He'll play it 13. Nice shot, key shot from him. Key shot, a nice shot that opened up the rack yeah. nicely. 10-12, 9 14-8. Or does he have to go to the nine? <gasps> oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, when he got in uh, open, he, he didn't want to make any mistakes, right? Left himself an angle on the fu on the nine. Excuse me. It will be nine, fifteen, twelve, fourteen then. <coughs> You can tell this is a big match for Mario. Big, big match, big opportunity to be in his first ever World Championships final. Well, and also on the side, I do remember in the Euro Tour that Mario has lost, I think, a couple times to Sanchez already. So for him, it's really battling the fact that he doesn't want to lose once more against mm. Sanchez. And for Sanchez, it's probably a little bit easier to play Mario. is 14 leave yourself nicely on the 8 mm. yeah, a little bounce of that rail still remember we're in on an island surrounded by water so everything is a lot more humid here than you might be expecting and doesn't matter Ooh. for Mario he takes the lead again 4-3 yeah. nicely played that was a nice wreck played some phenomenal shots there Yeah, your mind has got to work uh, extra fast with a shot clock when it is the, the table is laying tough. You need to make up your mind quickly, weigh the options. Just have a look at this arena. Looking fantastic. Referee John Lehman from New York. A well, very well-known referee all around the world. He's everywhere. Not even sure. He might have done every single event in the world. All the majors in pool. Mm -hmm. I think so. So last track, Mario broke. The cue ball flew off the table. That's not what he want to do. Hey, he hasn't been breaking too great. No. So to step it up a little bit. Oh, he went for second ball break. Makes a 15. Mm, made one. Oh, and look at the spread too. Oof, 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 oof. Change of plans. Yeah, broke Made a, a corner. Oh, he made a ball in the corner too. Yeah. He didn't even see it. Look at these stripes. Look at the stripes from here. Yeah, just the 14. But he might go from the 12 right now. Go 12, 14, 10. 
9, 13, 11, and then 8. The 8 does go mm. past the 2, I think. I think that's not too hard, actually. I think this pattern is pretty doable. Yeah, it's laying much easier than the last track he ran out, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. But you can't make any silly er errors, take anything for granted. You need to sort it out and really took his extension, wanted to make sure he chose the best pattern. Surely he's gonna go for the stripes, it's just a matter of what, what way he wants to go. Anything else I'm surprised. Yeah, I just really like to take that 14 out as fast like as soon as possible. That's why he's gonna go mm -hmm. from the 12 to the 14. Oh, a little bit more angle on the 14. And he was not happy about it. Yeah. He wanted to get more straight so he can take the 10 afterwards. There you go. Fourteen in the corner. Land nicely on this thirteen or eleven. I don't know if it's played for. I do like to go from the thirteen to the ten right now, and then from the ten to the nine. Stop on the nine. Get the eleven inside. Is he gonna leave the 10 ball to go to the 8? <laughs> we'll have to get a similar angle like he just had on the 13 though. He's following it down for a nice angle in the side pocket. It's the tad, right? Mm -hmm. Looks a little straight to me. You will have to go one rail in between the 3 and the 7. And he doesn't need to go all the way through, just needs to make sure he finds the gap. <laughs> just. Stop. He's stopping there. Oh. Mm. So can he stop the cue ball for the 8 in the top right corner? I think he's playing the 8 in the side pocket, uh, Tim. He's coming up one rail. Be careful now, but... Yeah, not in the top right corner, it has a little angle on the 10, so he's going forward. Just stop spin. One, two rails up. Beautiful. Oh, he is on the rail. <laughs> it looks like the seven ball is blocking the pocket a little bit. And he has missed the eight ball before, so it's a good strike. Down goes the eight. Game number eight goes to Mario Hayes, leading five to three. And we'll go for a short little break. Stay tuned, guys.
So welcome back everybody to the semi-final of the Europe, sorry European, this is <laughs> two European players, it's the World 8 Bull Championships. <laughs> <laughs> European, yeah. <laughs> it's a European match. It's the World Championships they're playing for, the 8 Bull title. Yeah, both players just left the arena for a little break. Mario went to get some water, I think. Sanchez, maybe a restroom break, maybe trying to slow Mario down. I'm always curious to know the reason behind the timeout. Yeah, Mario, the last couple of racks has been nicely. That, that last rack, he made it kind of, he landed kind of funny in the opening shot, kind of made it a little bit tougher than it was, I guess, but the rack before was tremendous. He saw that rack out really nicely to take the lead in this semi-final. Here's a good look at the Predator table. Referee John Lehman from New York, Amsterdam Billiards. Down in Manhattan. Look at Mario, he's, com he's trying to compose himself. Just a few games more, and he'll be f finding himself in the final of the World 8 Bull Championships. Finally, this tournament's happening again. For 10 years, no one took it, the championships to be held, but now Predator took it over. I wonder what a relief it is. It's uh, finally this big championship is happening. Yeah, big crowd in the back at the CSI Caribbean Expo. I think the team event is going on right now and they're playing for 10K first prize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I see uh, people jumping and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Great week of pool so far here. First at Puerto Rico Open, World Junior Nine Ball Championships. Of course, we had Puerto Rico Women Open. And now World Eight Ball Championships. And in the back, we have people winning. A lot of money, even though they're on holiday. What do you want more? <laughs> yeah, the amateurs really enjoy it this week. Especially if you, your team wins 10,000. Yeah, the crowd has been very good this week. Even I had to sign a couple of cue cases <laughs> and take some pictures. Oh, great, great experience. Let's go back to the match. Mario, he breaking from this side. Broke a lot better last break from this side. And that one ball looks to go in. Another good second ball break. Is this the way to go maybe for today? Yeah, I mean, he's been making balls. On both occasions from it. So he'll, he'll, go, he'll keep on going from there until he doesn't make a ball, I think. Yeah, I do prefer the stripes just because of the four and the seven they're in a pretty tough spot around the side pocket there but he still has to do some work on the 12 too yeah stripe it is for sure he, he needs to land nicely on this and then yeah. game th i think this game is over can he go just one reel down to the short side of the 12 and shoot it in the top corner because i don't like shooting the 13 in the side and running him or slow roll he's good or does the 12 go in the bottom right? Is it not that close to the three? Side pocket. Shoots the 13 in the side pocket. Let's see what he's trying to do here. I mean, obviously he's gonna shoot this in the side. Just stun run, just a little, little mm -hmm. bit and leave the 12, does that go? No, he will come back later, so 
The tw 12 ball might be a little bit more tough. Still work to do. He can leave it 12 for last because the 8 ball is hanging over the other, the other corner pocket. So Yeah, as long as it goes in the bottom right corner, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, from this angle, it looks like it does go. So now it's tough to avoid the 9. Call this extension. Mm. Extension granted. That's tricky. Maybe he's drawing. I don't know. Can you draw up to the two, maybe? Oh, he ain't gonna like this. That's why I'm very interested why he would play that with right spin. He put quite some right spin on that, and I, I would have liked to play it with left spin in case I catch the nine. I don't. It doesn't grab the mm. nine with the cue ball. It lets it go the other way. Well, it's not super easy to see here the exactly all the angles he's got when he played it. Yeah. yeah. So he's shooting a 14 in the top corner. Has no extension. Four seconds. Yeah, and he's missed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, extremely tough shot bridging over yeah. that nine ball. And uh, yeah, if you consider the time as well, very tough shot. And it Sanchez is not guaranteed out of from here with that 4 7, it's very tough. Yeah, he, he's got work to do, that's for sure. The 4 7 is not easy to get to. No, it's no real natural uh, path to it. And the side pocket, it's kind of disturbing. The if he takes the five ball, is he able to bank the seven maybe and push the four up to the corner? Yeah, let's see what he's selected or to do. Or is he able to get on the six and then run it to the four? Just like this. No, it looks a little straight on the six for me. A little bit too straight for me, though. Might be okay for him. Yeah, he's not going to try, try and do something from the six ball. No, he doesn't have enough angle. Oh, and with that three ball, I don't see any route from the three to open up the four seven. That side pocket is disturbing as well. If, if he wants to leave himself an angle here like this, Oh, he can go into the 4-7, though. Yeah. Thought the 14 was a little bit more in the way, so... And I do, if he runs into the 4-7, he does have a big chance to get on either of them. Nicely done. Beautiful shot. Beautiful controlled cue ball there by Ruiz. Yeah, he's stealing this game. And he earned it. I mean, it's not over yet, but this rack he really figured out nicely. Yeah, going to the short side of the four. No. Played a perfect speed to go to the seven. Overrunning the cue ball would have been very dangerous, so this came with quite some risk. But he's just so confident at mm -hmm. the moment that he's gonna get there. Yeah, any little chance he gets, he grabs it. But it's been like uh, Morris been di dictating this final, uh, semi-final so far. Yeah. Yeah, five four, and such a great opportunity for Mario to get to six three. Yeah, he uh, kind of landed funny on that uh, nine ball, I think. That's what got got him in trouble in trouble there. But that's what eight ball is about. You need to really get good shape on these balls around the table. So you don't need to travel too much with the cue ball. Keep the angle nicely. This referee.
direct tight. Yeah, my favorite picture to watch. Looking at the arena lights, reflecting in the balls. Predator Arcos, two balls. I love those lights. Mm -hmm. My favorite. There's no shadows on those tables, that's for sure. Yeah, and now I'm wondering, how is Sanchez going to break? Does he look at Mario's break and go, well, that second ball is working really well. Let's try the same, or is he just going to do whatever he was doing before? Yeah, but you're going to be able to master it too. I mean, I don't know if Ruiz broke like that before on the second ball. It's a different kind of hit. I think you got to go for what you've been doing all week, right? If you're in the semifinal, obviously you did something right. Break it from the middle or break it from the side, I think it's going all in though. Uh, oh, made corner. Made the 12. Ball. Pretty rough layout here. Still figure him to run out. Oh, can he shoot the 13 now and run into the 11 9? He's got the 15 in front of the pocket and the 10 next to it, so. Or remove the two. Hit the third, make the 13 and run in with the cue ball to the two. Then yeah. we solve the whole rack. I don't think he's going to play the solids, though. Stripes is his choice. Surely it should be. looking on intense <laughs> I wonder if how many of the, the, the people watching are playing thinking the paths the player is gonna take or is admiring the game <coughs> playing the shot behind the players so he's figuring it out and then he's gonna go ahead that's the way to play it well Made, in, made up his plan and off we go. He's got nine in the side pocket. That two ball is disturbing his queuing though. Yeah, but it's his only shot. It's called his extension on this. John Lehman better be on top of this. Did he not call his extension on this? No, he just called the nine ball on the side. So he still has his extension and nicely done. It's a strong shot. I wonder if he can make the 15 or the 11. Ten in the side, looks like. I was going to say it would be nice to get on the 14 and then from the 15 go two rails around for the 11 and then the 8. But I don't think he's able to shoot the 14 or the 15. Mm -hmm. Of course it's okay if he makes the 14 and gets still on the long rail. Ooh. Ooh. And he when the moment he struck that ball <laughs> it looked funny look at his he pulled queuing. back his cue too like he what was that <laughs> he went de -de -de. <laughs> really felt like he was gonna drop the cue or something like he pulled it back and really strange that was funny Ooh. didn't cheat the pocket a little bit oh and did he just Ooh. leave himself enough? I think he just got there. Yeah, especially if you play with a lot of left spin, still gonna still gonna turn the 15 over more to the left, so should be okay. He's bridging though, so and a high bridge should be okay. Did not even need all the spin, but ooh, come on, two rails, eight in the side. Oh, <laughs> he just got there, smiling a little bit. Knew that was very dangerous. 
So this is uh, eight ball to tie this semi-final at five apiece. And the race to ten. Eight ball is down. <laughs> Audience is getting involved. Appreciation for Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Yeah, really nice to see that slowly there is more and more people showing up for the finals. Of course, this always happens. Whenever you get closer till the end, more people are more interested. And that's how it goes, but mm. it's nice to see. It's been busy this week on the main table. A lot of people coming to watch and enjoy the games. This looks like the perfect opportunity to thank our sponsors and partners, of course, because without them, this amazing venue, the, the whole arenas, the whole setup, everything together would not be possible. So we would like to thank Medaya Light, Rums of Puerto Rico, Discover Puerto Rico, Predator Qs, Q Sports International, and our US Pro Beard Series partners are Seabirds, Billiard Supplies, Kamui, Alpha Coin Cryptocurrency, Jam Up Apparel, and Fargo Raid. Thank you so much for supporting us. And yeah, we're waiting now for John Lehman to wreck the balls for Sanchez. And like I said earlier, it could have been 6 3 Mario, and now the score is 5 each. Mm. And momentum is really flowing for Sanchez here. Had a good blast break, and if he does break the same like he did he might really make a big stretch yeah let's see the break here it's gonna be interesting to follow this match kind of tough to pick the winner from here it's five apiece obviously Reese has got the break yeah, even from but from the beginning till five each still tough to pick the winner Squat the cue ball and needs it. Drive no, break. No ball. Mm. Yeah, a lot of balls flying everywhere. <laughs> Only thing I can say about this break is that there was quite some spin on the cue ball if you look at still turning in the center of the table. That would be the only thing I would be not so happy with, but besides that, just look at the outcome. Yeah, one of the seven passes. Doesn't look like it. No, it so doesn't. So he needs to. Yeah, he shoots six off the seven here. And then all the other balls are at least in the open. No clusters. This is tough though. If you catch the seven ball too thick, the six will be missed on the long rail. Yeah. So you need to catch it good. And also the speed. You don't want to push it, the seven ball just. <laughs> Besides the 11, no. it's making sure. Yeah, Mario, I think that's the shot. It's either that or go into it from the one ball into the 11. You're most likely to be on the four or the three. So you could take that risk. Uh, he don't, he don't want to shoot it. He's got something else in mind. I don't blame him, you know, it's not a guarantee, the six of the seven, you know. No. <laughs> well, sometimes you, it's easy to sit here and call all the shots, but at the same time, you know, it's when you're out there, you really don't want to take no r difficult Oh, you don't want to take the risk to missing a shot like yeah. that and then giving away the opportunity. So I do like to take away the three first and then later you can go from the six to the two. So if he goes from the three to the one, runs into the 11 to seven, we'll have the six, two, seven always available now. One of he's got the mind though to, to solve the seven here. That's what I'm thinking. Still, the two ball is available, but yeah. the, th the problem with eight ball is 
if you start to play a shot by shot and you don't have any plan, then you're in deep water. Um, yeah, I, I really like going from the one. There is no more time to stall. I might he might play for an angle on the side here, the six. Now he was oh. trying to get on the two. What does he have in mind? Does that seven ball go? Are we wrong? Because I really don't like the fact that he's waiting so long with opening up the seven. Mm -hmm. Off the two now, two rails. No. Let's play a six in the side here. Well, it does go, but came up short. And then break it up. Cut. Yeah. Quite English. Oh, nice bump. Just look at the cue ball. Fine. Beautiful <laughs> shot. Very nicely controlled. Knew mm -hmm. if he hit that 11, he would be de guaranteed on the 7. Watch out. He's fine. Table is playing fast. There's no real room for leaving that cue ball flying around too much. You need, you need to be really nicely controlled. Eight ball is down, nicely done. So, Mario. Timeout sign. Yes. And we'll go for a two minute break and we'll be right back with the next rack. Welcome back, San Juan, Puerto Rico, the World 8 Ball Championships by Predator. Yeah. And we're, we're getting down to the end of this semi-final between Mario here from Austria and Sanchez Ruiz from Spain. Yeah, they just took a timeout. Of course, we're in the second half of this match. It's a race to ten. They just passed the half terms, so it's a good match. I think it's a really good high-class match. It's just a couple of uh, you know. I mean, it's not like Mario missed one eight ball. I think Sanchez maybe made one mistake, and yeah. 
then the break on the side and besides that they've been playing very well both made some good opening shots good bumps on the clusters and yeah <coughs> a few racks has been really tricky and they've been sorting it out nicely showing that they are worth being in this semi-final not not uh, by luck so to say or you know just easy ru easy run outs no they have made some really great run out so far so Sanchez Ruiz just got to the arena and so did Mario so we're ready for wreck number 12 mm -hmm. ready for Mario to break the balls and that's the only thing that I would get, tell Mario if he would come to me during his timeout I would tell him hey make sure you if you break head on, make sure you at least have it square. Because but, he, but he's been breaking on the second ball. He's been ball. breaking second ball, but he might go back at some point. You don't know. He's been making balls, so I don't think he's going to change it up, is he? It looks like he's breaking the second ball again, is he? Looks like it. Yeah. Twice in the stack. Cuba got kissed up and. Nothing. Dry. And left it. All in the open. Yeah, no clusters. Yeah, only thing would be the 11 and the 14. It's not like those do not go. Of course, he can shoot the 11 now, and the 14 does go in the bottom left. can take the six out with the 15 right now and come back later for the 11 in that pocket yeah it looks like that's what he's doing saving saving that 12 and 11 for the for the end okay did decide to run into that ball and might have pushed it into a very difficult spot. Yeah, he's not happy. And also, I was surprised that he shot it this way because now he had to get on the 10 ball or it's tough to get on this short side too. So can he go 9 and draw back and then run into the 14-12? Yeah, let's see what it's thing. like. It's kind of hard to, to hold the cube below with him down there. Yeah. It's a fast table and... It Cuba kind of gets away with uh, from you. Yeah, that's why just leave angle on the 10 and bl blast the 14, 12 open. I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get cued on the 12 and it, uh, yeah, no, uh, the 12 doesn't even go. So now he shoots the 14 and I'll have to play a good shot to eventually get the 12. Yeah, he's got work to do in this rack. Surely he, he's got. Fourteen. Down for the ten. Bad uh, mistake here. Oh, 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 oh. Ruiz, yeah, he was in trouble in that rack. See, he tied him balls up. So Mario with opportunity. He's looking at the five. He, w he wants it to be able to go. If he doesn't, he needs he needs to break it up some kind of way. Everything else is in the open. It's just that five ball. Goes on the side though. Gonna leave himself at small angle to open up the five. Yeah, yeah. I think he has it. He's got an angle there. Guaranteed to ev either have the five, the four, or the six. It's perfect. He don't even have. He can just go a really nice bump on this. Oh. Missed it. 
can come into it now maybe draw make the six and draw the cube into it yeah, yeah i think he has to do it now because later there's no other balls that close but like you said the rails are playing very fast and he's going to hit this rail very soon so that means the cue ball is going to be a lot shorter than when it slides a little bit gets it thick thick enough needs to bump the five. Oh, beautiful shot mm -hmm. when it hit i was going to say beautiful shot and then he almost scratched made it look easy and that shot isn't easy you need to use your wrist really nicely and, and light yeah hit that very smooth let's see if he's gonna bump into the 12. oh and did you see his Ooh. body there the, the yeah. at the moment he was gonna strike the boy looked like he was gonna help the cue ball there he kind of pushed the cue ball a little bit yeah. over and he wanted to travel more <laughs> maybe he was trying to get to the one i'm shooting the four four on the side possible one reel you can even bump the one with comfortable speed you all have the two after oh he's bumping cue ball nicely oh, he ran turn to out. the 11 and that worked out very well Mm. Perfect angle to go for the two in the left side pocket. And the eight ball on the other one. Mario stretching. He needs to do something quick. That shot clock is going. Yeah, he knows. Oh, seven seconds, six. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Starts <laughs> to be super fast. He ran it perfect as well. And again, that two game lead right mm. there for Mario. He is up 7 5. Yeah, that was a good opportunity for Sanchez. But it was tough. It really got tough, especially when he didn't shoot the six ball away. Yeah. Everything got so tough after. Uh, yeah, the opening shot, he ended up tying an, tying a, a, another ball together instead of opening up the rack, so it was tough, it was tough. But Mario didn't have a super easy out as well, but ended up solving the problem on the table. So he's in the lead, 7-5, and he was three games away from reaching his first ever World Championships final. Yeah, and this event will conclude the 2022 Pro Beard Series agenda. Next year is February, right, Vegas? Yeah, Vegas, the Poof. big Vegas Expo oh. is a huge event too, and I cannot wait to go there. Mm -hmm. It's been held in uh, Rio, right? Yep. Beautiful. So probably second ball break again. Last time came up dry. Now a little bit more force and two ball. No. Nothing. Dry. He can't believe it. <laughs> he can't believe it. I mean, that's as good as you can hit him on the second ball, I think. to the three possible two rails to the one ball see one two yeah. five four six he didn't like the angle but he can go I mean either way he can go for the four here he can draw it but that can create problems I think he wanted uh, a more angle on the three so you can come for the four easily into the four yeah, i mean two rails forward is okay i think cheat the pocket a little bit top spin no he's drawing mm. oh. 
Oh, he's not on the two, and he's not on the one. He's on the five. Queuing over to 13, 10. <coughs> Making sure that one ball does go to the side. Five in the corner. Nicely done, one in the side, right? No, the six he's got there, sorry. Oh, he could shoot the one in the side and then the two, I go from the two to the four, and then four, six, eight. But I think he's got a little bit too much angle on the one, unless he... Well, is he going to the four now? Four, six, two. If he replaces the four ball with the cue ball, he has a nice angle to go just one rail for the two. Unless he can get off the rail. Oh, perfect. Stop spin, maybe a little bit of right to get straight on the two and then. Perfect. A ball in the top side pocket in this view and then. 7-6, refusing to give up this young man. Yeah, down goes the eight. Yeah, it's um, the all important break, let Mari down there. He would love to make the ball on the break. It's the same for Ruiz, goes for Ruiz. He's been coming up dry a few times as well. It's a lot of play to it. The final table is looks like. You're gonna get your opportunities. There's the Spanish teammates. Delgado, what's his name? Delgado and Esposito. Esposito. Es <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I also yeah. like about the Spanish, is that they are always here to support each other. Mm -hmm. They're amigos. Hombres. <laughs> is this your best Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Muy bien. Uh, Espan <laughs> Habla español poquito. So Francisco with a break. Rack 14. Oh, it's going back to this side. Mm -hmm. Oh, the two in its corner, 11 uh -huh. in the side. Six gonna come down and help him or? Well, he always had the four. I'm just wondering, my first impression. I mean, it's pretty, pretty tough layout. With the I think it's okay. I mean, the solids. Just to get the on seven. The just to get on uh, the yeah, seven. Yeah, this. I think it's okay. If he gets on the seven and the five, well, we can shoot this now. Yeah, he wants to get out of the way. So the five passes. <laughs> mm. This is exciting, Tim. We're playing. I mean, it's such a big match. Being in the semi-final of the World Championships, it's just a few racks gonna. <coughs> uh, I cannot believe he's gonna cut the six. Well, kind of hard to see what kind of. I'm having a look there, and it's like if he makes it, it opens up the rack nicely. Yeah. Then the five ball has enough room. Yeah. I mean, playing the four ball in, in, in the side pockets is going to let that cue ball loose. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, that speed. Is it going to run all the way down to the short rail? No, it's not. It's got nice on the four. 
four one three seven five how is he gonna oh he needs to get really perfect on the three he needs to get almost straight to get to the seven from the three checking if that eight ball does go oh yeah might have to go to the three right now watch out he lost the cue ball here uh, Tim big time yeah and now he's in no sort have to of shoot problem. To five. Not sure if he still has his extension as well, so he might have to. Maybe he was trying to get to the seven there on that shot. Get it out of the way and leave. Mm, he needs to come with a really good shot here. You either cut the five? Yes, yeah. either cut the five or the one three combo. <laughs> and can you run into the seven? Oh, oh look at Oh, but things got tougher again. Now he shoot, needs to shoot the seven in the corner. <laughs> He had no time left, so he like went down and shot it like Tony Drago. Or the one, s the seven one. I mean, it's no, he's shooting in the corner. You missed the, the seven. fourteen. Yeah, I caught that a little bit too thick. Good effort. Look at this. He held the cue ball nicely for the one. Was what trying a good to try that was trying to was not indeed. bump the 14 and that's probably to where he was cheating it just a little bit too much let's see what mario got the nine mario and mario doesn't have a tough well he's looking at the bank on the 14. Oh, and the 13 got pretty tough because He can bank the 13, he can bank the 14, he can bank the 14 and draw back for the 13 and be done. I feel like sometimes in, in it's optional. Obviously he's got some kind of plan here. Ooh. Nicely. Oh, he can play the 10 here and come for the 13, see? And then draw it back and play the 12 in the corner. Yeah, just a little drawback on the 15 to set up for the 10. He needs to come nicely on this 13, though. Oh, he's leaving the 15 down there. What if he got there? A little short. <sighs> yeah, left himself a little tougher. Would have been nicer if he pushed up a little bit more. I mean, it's okay. He makes a 13, he's guaranteed to be on the 14 or the 15. But he needs, he needs an angle to still bump the three. Good shot there. And did he end up on the rail? I think he got perfect. Perfect at least to get on, to run into the three. Not much time. Oh, run into the 12 and. Yeah, I think he wanted to hit the 3 and the 12 at the same time. And he. Hit it too good, or I don't know. Oh, I think he's in big trouble here. inside if he blocks a pocket for the one he could save himself oh he could make it oh yeah and he's left Francisco perfect yeah it was a big opportunity there for Mario he just needed that position on that 12 <laughs> Yeah, and now it shoots the one, runs into the three, guaranteed to be on the seven. To make seven each.
three and only eight left for, for Ruiz to tie this match up. It is April to be seven all in a race to ten, yeah. Mario, Mario, what can you say? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You were so close from set from figure out that tricky rack, and just one shot away from getting one game closer to go to that goal, beating world number one, please. Yeah, so not just getting to the world title or world championships final is a bump for Mario. He also beating Sanchez, like I said earlier. And the fact that he just made that mistake probably has fired up Sanchez quite a bit. <laughs> Mario here. <laughs> Someone's alarm going on. He's giving him the death oh, there is the There's the... Opponent could be the opponent in the final. Jason Shaw, the Eagle Eye, and Mad Max Lechner, his countryman. And here comes Margaret Fifilova. Yeah, Jason will play just after this. Scheduled for 3 p.m., but sure. might have to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Surely they is talking about the run out, what he could do. You know, that, that's what Abel does to you. It makes you talk about the outs and the solutions how to solve the problem on the rack so rack number 15 Francisco Sanchez Ruiz El Ferrari uh, not the most square hit has made one ball <laughs> <laughs> and Went in the corner, I think. Yeah, two ball. made it. Oh no, no, the six, six the six ball. And then almost made the 15. And I was looking at this. I think he has to go stripes just because there's. Well, he can shoot the two, so he doesn't have to. If he can make the two, you gotta shoot the two, I think. Yeah. Well you slant nicely on that seven and uh, the, the it's only over. The only thing I have is that. You don't really have a shot to bump the three. Looks like the three ball doesn't go in the bottom left. That's what he's looking at. Or I mean, if it if it goes, I like solids. If it does not go, I like the fact that all the stripes are nearby the nine to make something happen. He's figuring out what he's gonna. I wonder if the three passes. Kind of tough to see. If he does, surely he's gonna shoot this two ball. Mm. It is close. Nice shot. Well, ball. What an opening shot from Ruiz. A long 12 ball, you know. Do or die. That's what confidence does to you. Mm, he tried to come for the nine. He can play it now, though, I think, after he plays this 13. Well, he can run into it. I don't think the 9 goes, but if he runs into it, he has the 10 or the 14 as a backup. Oh, he caught it. Mm -hmm. Why would he not hit the, the high side of the 9? Maybe that's oh. what he tried, but... <laughs> he had the nerves, you know, it's yeah, just a race of 3 from here, and... Both players have not been in a World Championship final, so there's a lot of stake for both these players. Well, in 
inside pocket for the 10, 10, excuse me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, still needs a little bit more work. Can he cut the 14 in and draw the cue ball into the 7 to hold it for the 9? Or does he have to go long reel, short reel and come back out? Here you see the replay, almost caught the point. He's having a good look, chop chop as well. Very fortunate to get on that nine ball in the side. This could have gone wrong big time. But he's perfect. Look at this. A nine in the side, then 11. Mm. is getting down to a couple of shots in the side pocket where they just went down just found a pocket it's 11 ball he held it nicely eight ball left in the corner for one one game lead eight to seven in favor of Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Yeah, it has been a little while since he was up. I'm not even sure if he had the lead somewhere in this match. Mm. <laughs> he holds his hand up. Got kind of fortunate on, on that shot just before the last two balls. But he had to take a risk. If you look at Mario's body language at the moment, it's not looking too great. <laughs> Looks a little bit down. Even though the score is only 8 7. And this young man is fired up. Well, he's won the last two games, so he's on a high at the moment. And Mario has. He had opportunity to take three game lead and then he had opportunity to to go up eight six as well. Just falling short. So Reese with a break. He have opportunity now to reach the hill first. And be just one game away from his first ever world championship final. Well, actually, he's been a junior world champion. So he's been a, in a world championship final as a junior. And now you have the opportunity to reach it in the big stage. Mm, corner, the 10. A nice layout. Runs this out, he's on the hill, and <laughs> yeah, Mario. he knows where it's going. Panda, what did I do on that last ball to provide the and not get right? That's probably what he's thinking. You just gotta hope you get an opportunity. Head up, Mario. Yeah, you don't wanna show too much of this this negative spirit to your opponent. No. That will only make him get fired up more. So he's selecting the stripes. Oh, and he has an angle on the 13 to run into the 11 right now. Has the 12 and the nine nearby. Does have a little bit more of a cut on the 13, but you got to take the risk somewhere, and it's it's not an impossible shot. 
takes his extension now. I think this could be. Oh, he's trying to play on the short side of the 11. Which, not sure if he can do that now. Mm, he's going to run into. He's going into that 11 nicely. Oh, and does that 11 go past the 7? I think it does. Yeah, yeah I think it does. But he's straight in on, on his 9, though. Straight in, so he kind of not, he can't really travel a lot with the cue ball here. Look at this. Oh, is he gonna mess it out? Right spin. Whoa. Uh, That's a really good shot. <laughs> yeah, the only <laughs> thing is, he might have gone a little bit short on the 12 still. Should be okay if he floats this in. That's a really nice shot there from him. Leave himself in a much better position he would have been if he just made it. And leave himself on the rail. Mm. Sanchez with a nice out here if he gets out. Made a couple of really difficult shots. Yeah, Mario from 7-5 down. 7-5 uh, up, excuse me, to possible 9-7 down. Mm. Let's see if he's exactly straight in or he can follow it down. It's drawing it. Half a pocket. Nicely done. Yeah, perfect straight on the eight. Francisco and Sanchez Ruiz. The crowd are getting close to this table. They know the, the end of this match is getting close. April is down. <laughs> On the hill. Mr. Ruiz. And we'll go for a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Predator World 8-Ball Championship. Francisco Sanchez is on the hill. He's up 9-7 over Mario. He and Mario had has it, his fair chances, but came up a little short. And now it's all Francisco. This is a big break. This will be his last break too, so. Make one ball on the break and nice spread. And he could be in the final of the World Championship. In the face, made two balls, almost scratched, did not scratch. And, oh, I think this worked out really well for him. See the five and the one. The cue ball got close to the side, didn't go. And that bump from the six ball in the top corner with the nine and the 12, that really made a difference. And especially if he can take out the six right now, maybe playing it very soft or run into the nine and get the six after. We'll have three solids on the bottom of the table. What do you think, uh, Marcus? 
Just thinking the solids look pretty good from here, running into the nine. Make mm -hmm. cut the two in and get on the nine. Might be a little bit too big of a cut. Stripes, the eleven and the fourteen are kinda tough and nine, and the nine ball is tough to get on, so I think if he can make the two ball I land nicely on the seven. Oh, he's shooting the seven now or the four. Yeah, he could cut the seven and go to the three ball first and then trying to get more straight on either the six. Nicely the done. Oh, he went for the four and... Mm -hmm. Might have a window for the three. If he does, surely he's going to shoot that three ball, no? No. Oh, I think he has it. Yeah, I, I like to shoot this three ball because going from either the six or the two all the way down table for the three is not easy at all. That's strawberry and raspberry and all this, the sweets. Yeah, going straight over for the two because it's nicer to go travel from the six to the eight than from the two to the eight. This ball gonna travel down for the two. Yeah, Look at this. it's perfect. Nice. Top right on that two rails and perfect position on the two. He's composing himself his last balls for place in the final, the World Championships. Nicely. Yeah, just needs to go. One rail in between the 10 and the 11. That's where he wants to be. If he plays his shot well, he's in the final. You want to let up on this stroke, then you're going to lose the cue ball. Perfect. You can't place it better with ball in hand, I think. Yeah, he's got perfect on the 8. and This 8 ball for Rui is to be in the final. Down goes the eight. Well played. Yeah, very, yeah. very good performance. Yeah. He proved why he's the world number one at the moment. Handled that pressure good. Yeah, we will see Francisco Sanchez Ruiz in the finals later. At 7 p.m. the final. Ruiz will be there. Thank you from me, Marcus Schumacher, yeah. Tim De Reuter. And we will come back soon Francisco with the other semifinals. Stay tuned. Our finals at 7 p.m. Give us a few minutes and we'll get to our second semifinal.